My name is Nils Skovsbo, I'm a geologist and this is Greensand. Greensand is both a rock in the subsurface of Denmark and it's also the name of a project that aims to store CO2 within a depleted oil field. It's the first project that shows and demonstrates that CO2 can safely be stored in the subsurface. We have never had such a project before. And we are out here at Geus' core store, and here we store uh, samples from the subsurface of Denmark. So what we have here on display is a section through the green sand reservoir in uh, Nini, uh, showing the very fine sand with all the cavities, which is in this state uh, drilled when the field was found. So it's an oil field reservoir sand. The reservoir is darkened by the oil and gas present, but if we clean the rock and remove all the hydrocarbons, we can see that the rock is indeed green. Green sand rock is very suitable for CO2 storage because it has many cavities within the rock matrix where we know that it has a high capacity for CO2 to be stored. CO2 is actually not injected as a gas, it's injected as a compressed liquid. It will fill out the cavities and then by time it will react with the minerals that is in the subsurface and then be mineralized as a carbonate minerals. So in that sense it will, through millennia, will be converted to a much more stable form in the subsurface. And on top we have uh, a core through the Nini cap rock, which is a very fine-grained mudstone. This area is particularly thick. It's more than 800 meters thick, composed of several independent seal units that it gives us this natural protection and ensure that we can have a safe and long-term storage of uh, CO2 in the reservoir. And in fact, it's the same mudstone that has helped oil and gas to be in the subsurface for millions of years. So we know that this mudstone is a very efficient seal to the subsurface. Storing CO2 in green sand rock, it will be one of the efficient ways of mitigating the climate effect of CO2 in the atmosphere. I'm very excited about it. You know, we have the samples in the subsurface established through the oil and gas part of investigations, the exploration phase, and we have a lot of data. As a geologist, I'm very excited that we can put new value into the subsurface of Denmark.